If you wanna create different print finishes on the t-shirts that you create, well, I'm gonna help you with that in this video. I'm gonna show you 14 different styles of heat transfers where all you need is a heat press to create the look. From products that stretch, to products that bling, to products that reflect, to dimensional, there's a ton of different options for you in CAD cut heat transfers. CAD cut, what is it? Well, it's our brand at Stalls of Heat Transfer Vinyl. Yes, we supply it by the roll if you have your own vinyl cutter with all of the finishes that we're about to look at, where you can cut, weed, and prepare for application with a high quality heat press. But we also offer it as a transfer, meaning we cut it for you. We send it to you just like this, ready to peel back, ready to position on your garment, and ready to heat apply. That makes it quick and easy where you don't need to worry about all the labor of cutting and weeding. Very simple to execute. Not only am I gonna show you these finishes, but I wanna tell you that there are color cards available for all the finishes that you're about to see. These small color swatches have all the color chips that are available in the different print finishes to ensure you can get the right color that matches the look that you're gonna create. Let's start in the category of basic CAD cut heat transfers and come in close to look at our top seller, Ultraweed. Ultraweed is a product name that you're going to want to jot down. This is going to be your go-to finish for CAD cut heat transfers and heat transfer vinyl. It's soft, it has a nice matte finish, and customers are going to love the feel on the garment. It allows you to do lots of detail in your logos, and it applies very easy. And that's one of the big benefits as well, is the garments you'll be able to create. With an application temperature as low as 280 degrees for cotton fabrics, and as low as 260 degrees for tri-blends and synthetics and polyesters, this is a product that's going to apply accurately and be highly durable. That's CAD Cut Ultraweed. The next product that I wanna show you is called Premium Plus. You might have guessed it, it has some more premium features plus some additional things. When we talk about the premium features, we're talking about the absolute softest material that's out there in the world of CAD Cut heat transfers. This is a product that's gonna feel great on the garment. Your customers are really gonna notice the difference between this and even screen printing. It's lighter weight. The additional features on why we call it plus is because it has stretch and recovery. So you can apply this from everything to compression gear, to uh, sports bra, to yoga pants. Um, there's plenty that you can customize with CAD Cut Premium Plus in the performance category. And yes, if you wanna centralize on this, you can also use it for t-shirts as well. Next, I wanna talk about one of our top sellers for years here at Stalls, and that product is called CAD Cut Thermofilm. Now, Thermofilm is commonly used on sports uniforms. So if you wanna do names and numbers on the jerseys, there's no better product than Thermofilm. But we're seeing it used by a lot of brands for t-shirts and fashion as well. Why? Because it has a little bit more of a body to it or a thickness, and it has a semi-gloss finish that creates some nice contrast when combining it with matte colored t-shirts, as you see here. And so Thermofilm, again, highly durable, easy to press. It only takes six seconds at the heat press to apply. So crazy efficient. The last flat finish product I wanna show you in our core line has a special use. You'll see it here on a bomber jacket that's nylon. And that's what's so special about this product. It's called Gorilla Grip 2. It has a special nylon adhesive that allows it to stick to some of the toughest fabrics. So whether you, whether you wanna decorate a jacket, an umbrella, or even a nylon bag, this is a product that's going to be available in a variety of colors that's easy to heat press onto these tough to do fabrics. As we start to look at other special finishes available in CAD cut heat transfers, I wanna go first to this velvety smooth finish. It's called Soft Flock. Soft Flock has an actual microfiber texture to it. It's really not vinyl at all. It's an actual fiber on the garment, so it feels like fabric on fabric. And you also get some dimension. This is a product that again, comes ready to heat press to you. All you need to do is position on your garment and press it to get this completed result. Customers love this on t-shirts, also a great option for fleece. So that headlines our dimensional product offering. Next is a product called CAD Cut Silicone Dye Block. Now this starts to add in a different texture experience. Silicone has a rubbery texture, think of a rubber band. That's the type of texture it has on this garment. We see this a lot on higher end brand insignias, but we also see it used 
as a contrast to the soft t-shirts that it's being applied to. And so silicone dye block comes in a variety of colors. It has this rubbery finish and it also has stretch and recovery. So it can work on your flexible fabrics as well. Stands off the garment just a little bit. The last product in our dimensional category is one of my favorites and one of the newest products that's out there for 2021. It's called CADCUT Soft Foam. We call this foam because that's the best way to compare what it feels like. It's dimensional, it stands off of the garment, and it's extremely soft like foam, and it's pliable as well. So we see a lot of customers using it on fleece to stand off, but I see an equal number of customers using it on higher end performance fabrics. This is a product that looks great even on larger designs. It's designed to be highly durable, and again, all you need to do is heat press this. It's really gonna elevate the game on the graphics that you're creating for your apparel. Now, that covers some of the dimensional products that are out there. Let's move into one of the more popular categories, and that's the category of bling, as I like to call it. And we have a plethora of choices here that are ready to heat press for you as well. This one is called CAD Cut Glitter Flake. This is an actual textured glitter finish on this print, but it won't flake off when it's laundered. It's highly durable. People love this for that bling result, that wow result. We see it commonly used in spirit wear or anywhere you wanna add a little extra pop to your design. That's Glitter Flake. Next is a product called CAD Cut Hologram. Hologram is kind of a blend between foil and glitter. You have these party spots in the design that really add some holographic texture and element to it. One of the things I like about this product is it's really loud. So we see it used commonly on kids apparel for sure. And it's also at a pretty good budget price point. So we see it used on birthday party tees, uh, retirement tees and the like. So if you have a promotional apparel use, CAD Cut Hologram is a great bling finish for that effect. A unique product, and I'm gonna show you two sample shirts for this one. It's called Chroma Bling. Believe it or not, CAD Cut Chroma Bling only comes in one color at the producing of this video. This is that same color applied to black and applied to white. So the color shifts and changes based on the garment that it's applied to, which is really cool. If you look close up, it also has a little bit of a glitter particle inside of the foil-like finish. So customers love this. Be creative with this one. A lot of people will use it for mixing and matching on different apparel colors, but it still creates that loud, vibrant bling result. That's CAD Cut Chroma Bling. Next, two of my favorites when we think of the metallic or bling finishes, this one's called Fashion Film Electric. Now Fashion Film Electric is that highly durable metallic product. It's available in a wide variety of colors. It feels nice on the garment, but it's gonna last. It's a tough product that's going to exceed 50 wash and dry cycles when it's put through the laundry process. It's also easy to press, it's a hot peel release, very convenient product to use, and a product that customers love the finish on the garment. And I saved the best for last in this lineup, and that's our CAD Cut Metallic. So if you've ever used heat transfer foil before, um, it's a great product, but it's usually a two-step process. This takes heat transfer foil, makes it more consistent for you, so you're producing quality results every time in a single step process. What do I mean? You just position it, and you press it, and you peel the backing, and you have your result. So regardless on whether you're going to an inexpensive t-shirt, or a higher-end tri-blend, or a performance fabric, the CAD Cut Metallic product has that bright foil finish. Uh, it just looks awesome. As an added bonus, you can press this twice. Um, after it's been applied, press it again with a cover sheet to create a lower luster finish that blends in more with the garment. But that's CAD Cut Metallic. A couple more things I'd like to talk to you about, and that is uh, reflective finishes. I'm gonna highlight two of them today. Again, we're highlighting 14 different CAD Cut heat transfer finishes. There are more choices, but these are the top ones. This one, this reflective finish is called CAD Cut 3M Reflective. 3M Reflective is the brightest reflective that's out there. It's actually certified for roadside work crews, but I see a ton of people using this for fitness brands and also just for fashion tees. Think about it. When you are crossing through a parking lot or jogging alongside the road, this is a product that's gonna stand out when headlights hit it and someone's gonna know you're there. It's equally as popular for fashion brands when a camera flash hits it because it reflects and lights up. It reflects the light back to the source. Feels great, very easy to apply, 3M Reflective heat transfers. And then the last one takes 3M Reflective and just takes it up a notch a little bit, 
and that's our high vis color reflective. And so in this case, you're able to actually get the reflective product in different colors. We're showing the red color here, but there's black and green and blue and a variety of colors that are available. So this isn't as much for function, it's definitely for fashion, but the really cool thing about this is you can match a brand color or you can get better daylight visibility and just experiment more with colorways to produce a quality result. So hopefully you're excited about these 14 different finishes that you can get in ready to apply transfers to decorate a wide variety of apparel just with having a heat press. The next question is going to be, what does it cost me and how do I order it? And so I wanna walk you through both of those things. Let's start with how to order it. And for that, we'll head over to stalls.com and I'll walk through the process. The first step to get started with ordering custom CAGCA heat transfers is to visit stalls.com and log into your account. If you don't have an account, it's easy to set up. It'll only take a couple minutes. Once you've logged into your account, there's a section up in the top right of the website that is called Artwork Uploader. Simply click on that link to get started. This is your access to tons of different transfer types that come to you ready to heat press. In this case, we're going to focus on the CAD cut products that we've been talking about in this video. There's some description that walks you through how to use the artwork uploader. I'm just gonna scroll down and take you through the steps. Step number one, attach the file. You can browse your computer to attach any of the acceptable file types. Know that if you can attach a vector file, one that's been created in CorelDRAW, Adobe Illustrator, or CADWorks Live, and is in a vector file format, you won't get assessed a raster art fee that you would if you attached another raster file such as a JPEG or a PNG, et cetera. So click the button to browse to attach it. I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to my downloads and upload this difference maker file that I just created. It's a vector PDF. The artwork uploader will receive the file, it'll analyze it and it will give you a thumbnail preview. So you can see exactly what it looks like to make sure you've selected the correct file. After that, you'll scroll down to step two. Step two is select the service type that you'd like to order. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get to the products that we've been discussing, but you can explore all of these categories. I'm gonna click on custom cut designs. This is where I'll find the CAD cut ready to apply transfers. After selecting that, I'll scroll down to step three and I can select CAD cut designs. This is where you'll get access to all the products that I've shown you plus more. At that point, we ask you what fabric you plan to apply this transfer to. Know that most CAD cut transfers can apply to cotton and polyester blends or 100% either way, but we like you to select here just to make sure your product is going to be compatible. Because often if you wanna do a nylon, it will kind of cut down your selection and make sure the product will work on nylon. In this case, let's pretend we're going to 100% cotton t-shirt or hoodie. At that point, I wanna select the garment color that I plan to decorate. I'm gonna decorate a dark colored fabric. You'll have to select that you don't wanna split front. This is commonly used if you're going over like a zip up hoodie or a button up baseball jersey, something like that, but I'm just going with a standard graphic. And then I'll select the number of colors I want. Although I've shown you all single color samples in this video, you can order multiple colors in your artwork in CAD, just know they'll arrive as separate pieces and need to be combined in the application process. But in this case, I'm dealing with one color art. So I'll select one color. At that point, it'll ask me to name my color. And it gives you some helpers here that best describe its place in the overall design. And so this is my main color. So I'm just gonna name it main color. Then you will see all of the different materials available in CAD Cut Heat Transfer Vinyl. Again, we walked through 14 in this video, but there are so many different choices and the price will vary based on your choice. I told you soft foam was my favorite product. So let's go ahead and design this with the soft foam. I'll select the soft foam and then it will bring up my available color choices. Now, naturally, if I were to put, pick a standard material like our ultra weed, for instance, it would populate a lot more color choices. So you can play around and pick different products to see the color choices. But once you find the product you like, go ahead and select the color that you wanna decorate with. I'll select white for my material color since I'm decorating a dark colored garment. 
it really won't matter what color the artwork is when you upload it. It's what materials you select for each color that you identify or each part of the design that you identify. So make sure you select the color you want from the material. At that point, it's telling you to punch in the width or the height of the design. In this case, I'm gonna do a 10 inch wide design. And because it is a file that's already been uploaded, it will size the height of my design proportionally for how it's been uploaded. At that point, I can name my design and let's just keep this one simple and call it the difference maker file. And then I can leave any special instructions for the artist. There are different things a lot of customers type in here, but if you wanna call out anything specific about the artwork, this would be your place to do that. It's not required to complete this field. At that point, it will generate a live quote. Now I'm gonna show you in a moment the price grid so you can kind of get the quote without going through this whole process, but it's nice to validate the price that you found on our price grid. And so in this case, I can even see price breaks. If I were to order this design, which is a front horizontal design in 50 pieces, it would be $3.08 a piece. So let's just say I wanna get 24 pieces. There's two dozen shirts I wanna decorate. It would take the price per piece multiply it by the total quantity and give you an overall price for the job. At that point, it gives an estimate. And if there are any additional fees, such as art fees, they will be tacked on here. And that will be a given if you upload a file that is not vector. So that's something to keep in mind. At that point, you can enter your contact information for the particular business, and then you can choose to submit the artwork. The button's right at the bottom of the screen. So I'll click on submit the artwork. It will upload it into my feed. And this is my art dashboard for the business. You can see I've done these designs before, but this will show all of the different pieces of artwork that I've uploaded under my account and the status that that artwork is in. Any artwork that's already been reviewed by the artist and approved and you've ordered will show up in the ready to order status. I can always go in here to old designs and reorder. These were designs I've actually placed orders for. If it's in the yellow stage, that will be the immediate stage that it arrives in. And that will mean that the artwork is in progress. At that point, our art team will review it and you'll get a notification that the artwork is ready to order when it is, and then you can go ahead and place your order. What I love about CAD Cut Heat Transfers is if you order from the time you approve your artwork, if you place your order by noon Eastern time, those designs will ship in the same day. How fast is that? Now that you have a basic understanding on how to get artwork to us at stalls and order your transfers ready to heat press, let's talk about the pricing on this product. I'm gonna switch screens to show you this. Now I'm looking at the custom CAD Cut Logos price grid. This pricing is updated with the accurate price breaks and material options for early 2021, but please make sure you reference the latest pricing depending on when you're watching this video. This is simply to illustrate how to get a quick price when you have a job. First, you need to understand how to calculate the number of square inches in the design. Now, I know this is basic for some of you, but I wanna explain it just in case. To calculate the number of square inches in an object, you need to take the width and multiply it by the height. So if you have a design that is five inches wide by six inches tall, five times six equals 30 square inches. So I'll quickly find 30 square inches on the left side of my chart. At that point, I need to find the material that I'd like to order this in. Let's say I wanted to order this out of the ultra weed heat transfer vinyl, the first product, the basic product I showed you in this video. So I would be in this first grid for all of the different materials that are listed on the top you'll see most of the special effects that we talked about are either in the second column or the third column, but let's go with ultra weed for now. So a 30 square inch design in ultra weed, these are the prices and the price breaks that are available. So if you order five designs, the price per piece would be $3 and 34 cents. If I can get the customer to commit to 10 designs or I wanna stock some, the price would be $2 and 56 cents. 50 designs, $2.37, and so on. I do want to make mention that you need to order custom CAD cut heat transfers in increments of five pieces. That's an important thing when you're selling this to customers or ordering for jobs. Now, the particular design that we just uploaded, the difference maker file, 
was 10 by 2.687 inches. Uh, pretty specific, right? And so that was 26 square inches overall. So in that case, I would fall to the 30 inch square inch price grid again, because you always want to round up. If it's in between, you round up to the next highest grid. Now, again, when I'm looking at the price grid, I would probably just make that a little bit smaller so I can save a little bit of money to fit in 25 square inches, but I wanted to point that out. So at 26 square inches, I selected the soft foam material. I can find soft foam price in my middle tier. It's listed right here at the top of the screen. And at the quantity that I entered, which was 24 pieces, that would be the 10 piece price break, it was $3.33 per piece. That's what we just calculated. So you can upload your artwork and get the pricing that way, but I find this grid to be super helpful when you don't wanna necessarily upload your art and you just wanna find a quick price or understand what materials in which price grid. And so this spreadsheet is available to you on the custom CAD cut page over at stalls.com or in the stalls catalog, which you can also download on the website. Now that you understand how to order the product and what it costs, let's talk about how you'll receive it. Again, if you're ordering as a CAD cut heat transfer, they'll come just like this. You'll trim apart your designs, remove the backing, position it onto your garment for heat application. In the box will come a recipe specifically for the transfer type that you ordered. It will tell you time, temperature, and pressure to set your heat press for. Make sure you follow those instructions and make sure you're using a quality heat press so you get a quality result. If you're interested in a heat press at Stalls, we manufacture a leading line and can help you get into the right press for your needs. Hopefully we can agree that CAD cut heat transfers will allow you to offer more finishes and styles than ever before in the logos that you're creating for your brand or for your customer's brand. The next thing to do is get jump started by uploading some art at stalls.com. Thanks for watching.